Good morning, John. Helium is very weird and I'm tired of people being wrong about it, so I've made a video here that is everything a normal person needs to know about helium in four minutes. Helium is very special for three different reasons. First, it, along with its noble gas siblings on the periodic table, are extremely unreactive. For physics reasons, they are just extremely stable atoms. They do not chemically react. Second, helium is an element with a very small atom. The only one smaller is hydrogen, so it is both physically small and light. Some might even say lighter than air. And finally, helium doesn't just not react chemically with other stuff, it also just doesn't interact much with anything, including itself. Basically, it is like the least sticky atom. And when it's easier for atoms to stick together, that makes it harder for them to be a gas and easier for them to be a solid. So because helium has so little stickiness, you have to get it very cold for it to become a liquid, and it basically never becomes a solid. Of literally everything in the universe, helium is the hardest thing to freeze. So we got a gas that is very light, very small, never freezes, and is extremely unreactive, and that makes it useful for way more than just party balloons. You can use it in rocket engines to push on cryofuels like liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen without having to worry about it reacting or freezing. If you need to get something very cold, you can surround it with liquid helium, which will not freeze even at absolute zero, making it super useful for superconducting magnets in MRIs and other scientific equipment. You can put it in pipes and equipment in spacesuits to find tiny, tiny leaks, because the atoms are so small that they will pass through even the smallest fractures. And you can surround vital manufacturing with it to prevent prevent unwanted reactions with atmospheric gases like oxygen when making semiconductors or doing high quality welding. No one piece of the helium use pie is the biggest piece. It's used in a lot of things because it's a very useful gas. And you might have been told that we are running out of helium, which is kind of true, but also kind of not. A quarter of the known matter in the universe is helium, but that does not help us because here on Earth, once it's in the atmosphere, it floats to the top of the atmosphere and then gets knocked away by high energy particles from the sun and we can't get it back. The helium that we use is stuff that was trapped underground after radioactive elements decayed into other elements, including helium. Now often, the same formations that trap the helium also trap natural gas. And so basically, all of our helium is a byproduct of pulling natural gas out of the ground to burn it in our stoves and to heat our houses. In fact, the majority of the helium that is pulled out of the ground in natural gas ends up being vented. We don't even capture it because it's very energy intensive to do that. And this was extra not done for a very weird reason, which is that the U.S. had a gigantic strategic reserve of helium that it eventually was like, actually, we don't need this. And so Congress told the helium reserve, you have to sell all of your helium by a certain date. We don't care what price you sell it at, which absolutely tanked the price of helium. Thus, natural gas producers had no incentive to invest in the equipment that refines helium from natural gas. But as that supply has been sold off, which I think as of now is done with, and as applications for helium have increased, more of it is being captured. The bad news is the long-term goal is to leave the natural gas in the ground because it and the products of its combustion are making the earth Warmer. And so now, for like the first time ever, we have people specifically drilling for helium, which doesn't necessarily have to come along with natural gas. That has resulted in the discovery of a helium reserve in Tanzania, which is big enough to fill 1.5 million MRI machines, and more helium resources have been found in Canada and Australia. As of now, because of pandemic-induced consumption decreases and new production coming online, the helium shortage appears to be over. And with the discovery of new reserves, and also a lot of the uses of helium, including MRIs and rocket launches and manufacturing, finding ways to capture and reuse the helium, because of course it doesn't get used up, it's an element that doesn't react with anything, I might have good news. We can all probably be a little less concerned about at least this one thing. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Hank, why didn't you talk about the Awesome Socks Club at all? Because uh, it's been going very well, and I think that regardless of what I say right now, it's gonna sell out in the next two days. We will stop selling Sunday at midnight, but also according to my projections, we're not gonna make it that far. So if you want to sign up, there's a link in the description.